Hello and welcome. We're going to keep it quick today. No big intro. Suffice to say, my name is Lewis Nichols, and today we're talking about giant spiders. First, we're going to see how the subject pertains to the real world. Then, we're going to talk about popular media. And lastly, we're going to hone in on Pelicar, my world, and see what I've done with them. And by the way, if you want to know more about Pelicar as a general subject, just tune into any video on this channel. For purposes of this discussion, giant spiders mean any spider that's the size of a dog or up. The Therophosa blondi, or Goliath bird eater, is the biggest spider on earth, topping out at about a foot across. Fantasy giant spiders only start a little bit bigger than that, so let's forget everything that we said, because as far as I'm concerned, we can just call it a giant and assign XP for every one that gets squished. Did you know spiders appear in biblical art? They show up for a few mentions in various religious traditions, but in Christian paintings, it gets just plain weird. A spider brought light to the Cherokee. It was a trickster in parts of Africa, and King Saul was saved by one. Spiders have held a special place in human culture from the beginning, sometimes benefactor, sometimes terror. That's no different than today. We've all seen polls where more people are afraid of spiders than literally dying. As a kid, I remember being entranced by the incredible shrinking man and his battle against the wolf spider. Of course, it wasn't a giant spider, but to him it was. They're everywhere in the movies. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, piles and piles of horror movies. Let's face it, if you want a jump scare, flash a big-ass spider on the screen and you've got it. In tabletop RPGs, they are one of those wonderful creature types that can fill almost any role. They're good for urban or rural settings and come in all levels. Even a mundane spider can be an encounter if it gets inside your armor. In real life, spiders are solitary, but they're easy to form into nests or use as minions. Pack spiders are a must to creep out your friendly wilderness adventurers. You can make them smart or keep them dumb. Even speech is in the realm of reason. They can have poison of any type you prefer and even range attacks. Real life tarantulas shoot out needles. Just scale it up a hundredfold, and that'll hurt you. You can even throw in some projectile webbing. You can armor them up, giving them chitinous cladding around the legs and thorax. If you want, they can be your most dangerous foes in the universe. You could even make one a god and have a whole minotaur race devoted to their existence. Then you could make these hybrids of that race and spiders and name them by squishing their names together, like miters. Nah. That'd be silly. My use of spiders varies from campaign to campaign and region to region. Currently, a few of my big characters have a degree of empathy with them due to devotion to Madrilla. She's a goddess of darkness, if you didn't know. On top of that, they live in a jungle, so there are plenty of eight-legged crawlies to call upon. The biggest one around is a top-end super predator, capable of taking on an ancient dragon if it could get the thing to stand still for a minute. Elephant-sized tarantula types make regular appearances. They're in the 15th level range, but that's my system. Probably pretty close, though, to that one Gary Gygax came up with. Full disclosure, size isn't all that matters. The super predator I mentioned isn't all that much bigger than the elephant-sized ones, and I've got one that's only a few feet across that's still a massive threat. That's just one great thing about spiders. Maybe your fighter stomps one just to have it waggle its finger back at him. No, no, no. Then proceeds to arachno jujitsu him right back out of the dungeon. That's going to do it for spiders. And that's going to do it for us today. Let me know if there's anything you'd like covered in more detail down there in those comments. Tell me about your spiders. And while you're down there, leave a like, subscribe. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Cheers.